and welcome to Dr. Mix. You knew I was gonna do it. Today, I reconstruct Knight Rider. That's right, coming up. How are you guys doing? Are you okay? I am feeling marvelous because the Knight Rider is one of my favorite series. I used to watch it all the time as a little kid. And uh, I have to thank UVI, the kind sponsors of today's episode. I am going to use mostly UVI. Maybe I'm going to play bass. Maybe I'm going to play guitar. But otherwise, I'm going to just use those fantastic plugins. We're going to get a chance to see how they work, how many incredible sound they've got. I am super excited. I would say... Maybe this is the right time to subscribe to this channel. Yeah, if you love reconstructions, you should subscribe because there's so much coming. I'm telling you. Shall we start with the beginning? Let me show you a little bit what I have around me. It's going to be my computer, it's a PC, and uh, this keyboard. So I don't have, I mean, I've got a lot of stuff around. <laughs> actually, but today I'm just going to use this too, just uh, so you know what happens. When I press this button, I alternate between my mix and the reference mix. The reference mix, of course, being... And my mix being still empty. So I'm going to toggle this, bang, 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 quite a few times, just so you know in advance. I would start with drums. Firstly, let's listen to them. That is the thing that is gonna be the hardest to replicate, because the kick is the trick kick. Snare is snare, not much happening. It's just this thing, right? Let's start by adding an instrument track. It's the UVI workstation, right? Pretty simple, this is like a container where you put all of the different sounds. Bang! So basically here, I just double click and I can select, man, look at this. What? What? Oh, look at that. So listen, we've got so much goodness. You know what? Let's start from um, drum designer. Makes sense, right? So we load the kit. Let's see what we've got here. Let's start with, I don't know, new disco. Let's see if I can find another kit. Maybe I'm lucky. You know what? I suspect that I will have to build this sound by sound because that's very peculiar hi-hat. Let's see. One more. All right. This is pretty close. Let me go on to symbol right here. Oh, perfect. I can choose between this ones. So let's see what we've got. This is it. Let's see how I can change this. That's pretty cool. So I need a longer version of this. So how about if I go back? What did I use here? Short 22. So I'm going to go to symbol 2 and I'm going to choose short 22 again. Except this time I make it longer. Let me turn down the very first one because it's a little bit too loud. That's cool. Let's see if I can get an even longer one because I think it goes, right? Maybe long, 22, I don't know. Maybe I should select an open one. <laughs> Some 99 vibe there. You may say it's a lot of time that you're spending on a hi-hat. Yeah, it takes a long time. In fact, grab some popcorn because this is going to be a long one. I think I was better off with a short one. Let's choose the short 22 again and make it longer. Ah, 
that's it, isn't it? All right, let's see exactly the movement of this hi hat. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Where does it start from? Ah, so click. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I think that maybe the long one is a little bit shorter. And maybe 461. I think I'm gonna go for 461 also on the other ones. 461, because that sounds pretty good. Now I'm talking about the pitch clearly here, yeah? Pitch, pitch, 461. Yeah! All right, so the first bit goes. Yeah! And then the next part goes. That's what it does. Yeah, something like that. Let me adjust this. Well, you know what? Let me quantize it also. Yeah, maybe this one is a little bit too loud. You know, let me adjust the sound here. Symbol three should be slightly quieter. Yeah? And let's listen to the next part, how it goes. It's the same. It's the same. So it's basically this thing, except it's looped. Just like that. We put this at the beginning. Do you know what? Let me make this red. Because you know I love red. Yes. So let's call this drums. Yeah? Okay, let's work on the sound a little bit more. Okay. Let's see if number three can make it longer. Let me see if I got any effect on it. I've got just a bit of gain, makeup gain. Oh, it's got a little bit of compression. Let's see. All right, I think it's fine. Here it interrupts. And here it starts again. Uh huh. Remove this, remove that. Oh, here it changes. Okay, so it goes here now. Yeah. Teta, 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 teta. Actually, teta, like that. Yeah. And the hi hat is finished. <laughs> now let's tackle the kick drum, shall we? <laughs> I, it sounds to me like this is a real drummer, very precise one. The kick is really... It's really going for it, so it's quite strong. It's like a medium-sized kick drum. It's not massive, but it's got a lot of attack and it feels like it's keeping the beater pressed against it. It's not going like boom, it's not letting it go. It's like going... And the kick drum sounds quite firm. So let's see what we can find, y'all. Yeah. 
Uh, let's get acoustic. See what we get here. Huh. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, wow. That's how we play this game. Okay. Uh, let's go a clean one. Let's see. Oh. Oh, this is similar. Uh, this is more similar, actually, to what I need. Interesting. That's pretty good, actually. I, I like 11. Actually, this is it, I think. <laughs> yeah, I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. Pum. Pum. Is that how it goes? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Splendid. Let me join this one and quantize. Okay, maybe this is a, a bit more aggressive <laughs> than the original one. Maybe let me... Yeah. Okay, let me listen to... All right, I'm going to finish programming this, yeah? I'm not even going to hear it. I'm just going to go with the original track. Okay, bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum. Let me just improve this, because free warp. Okay, we were saying... Oh, bang, bang. Done! Now I just merge all of this lovely stuff and I quantize it. Yeah! <laughs> You know what? It's coming a little bit more modern. I like it. I think I may give it a slightly more contemporary electronic edge to it. Why not? <laughs> All right. So, snare drum. Snare drum, snare drum. Oh, let's listen to the beginning of it. It's not exactly bzzz, but it's not even... It's kind of puff, 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 like that, right? 
there's a little bit of reverb to it and it's like it's it's muted but not too muted it's definitely big snare it's tuned down a little bit let's see if we get lucky if i can find anything that goes with it back snare not exactly the one that we need let's see what we've got here acoustic okay let's try with this no I wanna know what love is <laughs> Ah, alright That's the game we play here, huh? Okay <laughs> Maybe? Not sure, let's see Nah Ooh that's an interesting one because there is a sound that comes later on. Maybe I could use this one. Actually, let me go to snare two so that I can keep this one. You know what? I'm tempted of using... Let's see if I can get a classic drum sound like uh, LM2 would be a good one. Okay, then. Let's see. Let's get Beatbox Anthology 2. And then we select, let's see, Eldrum. <laughs> Simple. Easy. Perfect. <laughs> Does it have reverb? Yeah, a little bit. Ah, quite a bit actually. Yeah! Okay, let's do this! I love my life! I've got a little mistake here on the kick. Bda, bda, I don't think so. More likely, boom, boom. That's right. So, let's quantize this baby. Okay. Uh, R1 is a little bit too big. Okay, fine. Okay, I think it's got a bit more mid. A bit more top end. A little bit less low end. It's ridiculous! Even my hi-hat is a little bit too loud right now. You see what I'm doing? I'm mixing as I am arranging. This way I don't have to worry about it later on. No, but look, I mean, this is gonna be the longest video ever, by the way. This is the thing, while you sound design, you also mix. If you've sound designed this correctly, you've also mixed it correctly. Okay. Even the kick maybe is a little bit too loud now. Let me pull that down as well. I think I'm pretty close. There is one thing that is missing though. That... I don't 
know what that is, but I think I found something that was sounding pretty similar. Was, was that this one? I'm not sure if this was the one. Let me create a new track altogether. Oh, so this is the snare drum. Snare drum. Uh, and then I'm going to create a new track. Let's call it Block. <laughs> not like that. Block CK. Correct. Drum designer. Snare. Yeah. And I'm going to select, what was that? The designer room four, this one. Uh, apart from being extremely loud. It's something like this, isn't it? Chico, chico. Yeah, let me see if I can find anything. That's it, chica, chica. This is it. This is it, this is it. Except it's got a lot of reverb to it. Reverb. Reverb. Huh. That's a bit too long. Chica, chica. All right, so it's only in the beginning. When does it come in? Ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, comes in at bar 14. So I go with the chica up until that. Ba -da -da, da -da -da -da. Is it coming back? Kuka, 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 kuka. That's it. So the first two. Get rid of poop pa, and that's it. Let's see if they come back. Ah. So this time I think it goes cookie, cookie, all the way up, cookie. Yeah. I'm just gonna listen to the original while I record. Okay, check it, check it. It's there. Yeah, I get it. Yes. Oh, not there. Yes. Not there. Kick car. All right. Kick car. Kick car. Why not? Tito. Uh, click. No, I got it wrong. One, two, three. Kick car. One, two, three. Kick car. Yeah. Are we finished with the drums? We're finished with the drums! No, 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 no. Next time on Dr. Mix, bass and guitar of Knight Rider. <laughs> bass! I got the sound. I got it. I got it! Guitar. This is the juicy part, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you.